So, I just got back from a pretty epic weekend of flying, and I thought it would be a good time to uh, show you guys my backpack and uh, sort of explain my setup. Um, just as it is, completely unprepared. Uh, there's a bunch of junk in here and probably a bunch of stuff I don't need, but um, that's as real as it gets. So we're just gonna run through my backpack uh, and everything else that I um, carry around whenever I usually go fly. So, first, um, obviously, we have quads. I usually carry three quads with me, or I try to anyway, uh, because I usually expect to break them. Uh, at least one. <clears throat> uh, so at least two or three quads um, whenever I go out flying, depending on where I go. Uh, most of them, they're usually identical, uh, but I've kind of been experimenting with some different things uh, lately. So I have one, uh, one, one special one here that I've been flying, uh, it's pretty cool. But we'll get to these, um, I'll get to these a little bit later. I'm just gonna run through everything I have here and show you what's inside. Um, okay, other than the backpack, I, uh, I normally carry around my lipos in like a lipo safe bag, which is probably the best, safest solution, but mine uh, ripped, uh, it broke the other day, so um, I've been using this like tin thing that uh, somebody gave me. It's pretty hard, um, so. Hopefully if anything bad happens, um, it'll stay in this little box. But yeah, basically just lipos. Um, uh, let's see, I run 6S lipos, 1300 milliamp hours, um, usually tattoos. Uh, actually all these are tattoos. Uh, I also carry, I carry around these little green and red like 3D printed XT60 caps and I only ever use them like in case in case I go out flying, I didn't rip all my packs. Um, I usually just mark the ones that are still charged or what have you. Uh, other than that, um, I keep my uh, diamond antenna in here because it, uh, I don't know, it seems kind of fragile, so I just want to keep it in a safe, play, uh, safe spot that I know isn't going to be like, it's not going to be crushed in, so I just keep it in there. Pretty good. So there's my life okay. Um, now, my backpack, this is a BPX3, which a lot of you probably own or have seen, or maybe you own the X2, which there aren't many differences other than uh, there being like a laptop sleeve, and I think it's got, uh, it's only got two uh, buckles instead of three. So yeah, this one was on sale a while back uh, for like a sweet deal, and managed to get one so backpack uh let's see front pockets in here i have got um glass little tempered glass uh lens protectors for my gopros and stuff one for my session one for my hero that's pretty much all i have in there um i use those things all the time because uh well because you get like one free break, like glass break, before it like actually gets to your uh, lens. So I tend to replace them all the time and they help a lot. I very rarely break like actual GoPro lenses uh, and I like to think it's because of that. So those are very handy. This other pocket here, I've got my ISDT charger. Um, and like this little harness thing I made uh, so that I can hook it up to like my car battery so I can charge usually anywhere I go. I don't really go hiking or anything crazy like that. I'm always pretty close to my vehicle uh, so it's always convenient to have. In my front pocket I have got basically um, just a couple of like battery straps, uh, electrical tape, Let's see, what else do we have in here? I've got a companion cube that did not come out that great. I don't know why it's in there. I've got a tiny Rubik's cube. That's always really fun. Um, antennas, extra antennas, extra uh, lenses, extra run cam lenses. All right. And of course, on my little uh, zipper thing here, I have this 
cool GoPro battery charger. I keep all my batteries in here. Um, works pretty well. And a lipo checker, just you have handy. All right. So now inside the bag. Okay, in the bag, the first thing you'll probably see is my laptop sleeve, which I don't normally carry a laptop with me unless I'm doing some kind of tuning or messing around with my, like if I have a new quad, I'm flying and I want to make sure I have uh, something to be able to, you know, change the flight controller settings if I need to. I have uh, my hex drivers here, which I'm sure most of you carry around, um, every size that I need to take apart my quads, plus a screwdriver, a prop tool, and uh, this little 5.5, yeah, little 5.5 millimeter for like uh, stack screws and, uh, sorry, stack nuts, small things like that, really helpful. Um, I know a lot of people, this, well, this is made to carry like a whole other quad, but uh, I can't really fit one in here because my GoPro mounts aren't detachable, so it's like hard to really shut the bag. Um, so I don't put a quad in there, but I carry, I put like, I have a bunch of junk props that are like barely used or like nicked just ever so slightly. So I carry them around uh, just optimistically, but I, I hardly ever use them. So I got these guys just uh, chilling right here. Some random battery straps that have a place, but are just not there because tend to be kind of unorganized most of the time. Um, random session mount, just in case. Uh, never know when you're gonna smash your eight and have to use the session the rest of the day. Uh, little GoPro charging cable, totally not necessary. Um, ooh, I've been carrying these around for a minute. My buddy, uh, my buddy in California sends me these stickers, man. Um, give him a like and a follow on uh, Instagram. Yeah, he sends me these yeah, super deluxe, man. Uh, really, really cool. I got these all over the place, and I just have so many of them. I, uh, I'm, I'm giving them away at this point, so if you guys want some stickers, hit me up. But uh, yeah, dude, thank you, Super D. Um, Lux, Super Deluxe. Super cool, man. Really appreciate you uh, sending me all these stickers all the time. Check out, uh, oh, he just sent me one. It was a uh, Matty Blunt's version, like a little collaboration they did. Uh, I have I have them up like I have them on my car and stuff, but um, really cool. Matty Blunt does some awesome artwork, so check him out if you haven't already. He's pretty active in the community. <clears throat> what else? Um, okay, I got my little tin box here, which is my little Star Wars box. Uh, I keep all of my like extra tools in here, so it's out of the way. So, like, extra pigtails, extra immortal tees, uh, my soldering iron, um, wire strippers, solder, uh, really just a bunch of stuff, tweezers, any, any little tools that I might need to, like, rebuild a quad out in the field. So there's that. Um, in that same little thing, I have, uh, I have a bunch of zip ties that I use for random reasons. Uh, yeah, so I use a lot of electric. I know some of you guys are gonna hate, but I use a lot of electrical tape and zip ties and hot glue because I tend to crash my quads and break them and have to rebuild them often enough that sometimes a quick fix like that really is all I need to keep going. So um, I have no problem with that. Uh, all right, I have my little FPV monitor. Let's see in here. Um, you might have seen this in uh, our random places on the internet, but yeah, this thing's really cool um, just to be able to spectate um, spectate anybody on analog. Uh, and sometimes I do like little live streams with them. Um, like I did a few live streams when, when the quarantine started with like my tiny wolf. I would just hang out in my, in my front yard and, um, you know, put this thing on the camera. Uh, what else? I got some pliers. I use pliers randomly for lots of reasons, so I keep them pretty close. Um, extra goggle straps in here, and uh, an extra lanyards, which 
I don't use a lanyard anymore because I broke the hook on my radio, so um, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to fix it. So I've gotten used to flying without a lanyard. It's really not a big issue for me anymore. Oh, back in here. Let's see, and then this thing, I don't know if it's, wow. Well, I don't know if it's supposed to be uh, for lipos or what have you, but I carry all my props in here. I try to load up props in here before I go out flying. Um, I can fit like probably 10 to 15 sets of props in here, which is really cool. Um, yeah, I usually fly these HQ prop quad blades. I go back and forth between these uh, four plays, the Umagon four plays and the quad blade uh, durables. So you can see both of these. Yeah, definitely my favorite props. They're actually 4.8 inch props uh, with like a really low pitch, which is really nice for um, really nice for the stuff that I like to do. Uh, so, give those a try if you haven't already. All right. Um, inside here, I have got my goggles and my radio. In this little side compartment, um, I keep extra motors and I have a little box here with like extra screws and things like that. I got some extra ESCs, extra, more extra motors. And this little box, yeah, just more uh, extra antennas and extra Immortal T for my uh, transmitter and a, um, an extra uh, receiver module for my goggles. Always good to have extra stuff because it sucks when you spend like all night getting ready for like an awesome day of flying and then something goes wrong. I mean, you've all, you've all been there, so you know what it's like. Uh, okay, radio. I've got my QX7, the first ever radio that I got um, that I've had for a long time and I've been through a lot with it. I really dig it. I keep this um, like antenna protector on it so whenever like it's in the bag I don't have to worry about uh, breaking either my antenna or any of my switches. It covers that pretty well. Uh, this uh, gimbal protector uh, works pretty well too so it just kind of keeps them from like moving when they're in the bag thus not breaking them which is uh, good I don't like to break stuff I do what I can to prevent breaking stuff if I can um, so yeah my QX7 um, I have a Crossfire uh, Micro TX module on here which is the older version not the new one and um, yeah I gave this thing a sweet paint job a while back uh, you guys might have seen it around it's got kind of a Star Wars uh, Red 5 theme to it uh, very, very fun stuff. I used to build a lot of model kits, so I have a little bit of like airbrushing under my belt. Um, and I always, I love seeing decked out radios and like goggles and stuff that like custom stuff like that. I love it. So, um, yeah, uh, one of the things, so people, a lot of people have been asking me about my uh, sound packs. I have like a portal sound pack on here. Yeah, there are, there's a lot of fun stuff in there. Um, a lot of Wheatley and GLaDOS uh, just saying funny things. I will put a link in the description to uh, that particular sound pack because a lot of people have been asking me. <clears throat> but um, yeah, that stuff is generally uh, pretty easy to do uh, if, if you find any sound pack. So give that uh, check that out um, let's see what else? my goggles got some fat sharks finally well a while ago but I run the fat shark HD threes which uh, I was very fortunate to get when I started at working uh, at race day quads from a good friend of mine um, and I've had these ever since. Very reliable, uh, great picture, and yeah. Um, holding down the analog game for the boys and the girls. <sighs> oh, my antennas. Um, so my goggle antennas, 
Uh, I know most people run like uh, a patch and like an Omni. Um, yeah, it works pretty well. I run two Omnis because I don't fly very far away most of the time. Um, and I used to run a patch and an Omni and then I saw a Bardwell video that made me kind of want to try something different and I tried a second Omni um, and I really um, I felt like I felt like it improved my video signal so you know I just really stick to what works um, that's another thing so when you're like deciding what equipment you want to use and uh, things like that I highly highly recommend trying out different things especially if you have a different goal in mind than you know other people that you see on the internet so find what works best for you and you know stick to it stick to it um, because it makes your flying experience much better you don't have to worry about whether or not something's gonna fail on you um, if you're you know if you you're buying equipment that you're used to you're familiar with how it performs um, there's a lot less of a chance that you'll lose a quad or experience something that you can't explain um, yeah so that's what I got in my bag really not a whole lot uh, I'll be honest I should probably clean it out and get some of this uh, like unnecessary stuff out of here but basically I like to just be ready for you know I, I go out flying and I intend to break stuff so I like to be able to fix it on the spot if I can and uh, keep going because nothing sucks more than getting ready for an epic day of flying and then you go out and something terrible happens it also helps to have really awesome friends like B-Rad um, if you remember my last Bando Island trip, my radio went down, I had an issue with my gimbals, and basically I would have just gone home any other day. But luckily, B-Rad carries around like five different bags full of stuff, so he's way prepared, and he had an extra radio that I was able to use. So, friends, and uh, be ready, you know. Um, all right, so, let's get this stuff out of the way. By the way, if you're ever interested uh, in specifically what I'm flying um, in any particular video, check out the video description. I include a full breakdown of all the equipment that I'm using uh, for that particular flight. Um, and I do update it per video, so um, it's always gonna be accurate. Because I get a lot of people always asking me about stuff. Um, so I, I, try to, I try to include as much of the information as possible in there so you so you have a better idea of, of what uh what stuff i'm using and you know there, there's links to the music that i use and uh i always have links to um like the people that i was hanging out with that day if you're ever interested in like who is who you saw in my video you can always go down below and like you know squad love so sick weekend by the way uh bubby and his mom came down again I think they uh, they extended their stay just to come and hang out with the boys. So um, I'll probably roll some of that uh, right now from this last uh, weekend over here. So thank you guys again for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions or anything, you know what to do. Uh, we're gonna roll the flight footage now. So peace.